Sunshine and scenery are important, of course, but most people's holiday memories are based on experiences, and Barbados has more than most. One of the latest attractions is the Concorde Experience, located in the south, right next to the airport. People obviously are quite fascinated by such yeah. an amazing aircraft. To get to Barbados fast, in four hours and ten minutes, you leave in London at 9 a.m. and you're arriving here at 10 minutes to 9 the same morning. It boosted up our economy and we have some of the wealthiest people coming here, um, made our dollar strong. But those who came on the Concorde still come today on their own private jet. The Concorde experience is really well done with some fascinating memorabilia, multimedia presentations and of course the chance to have a really good look around the aircraft itself. You can even have a go at flying it. Back out in the real world in the sunshine, another unmissable experience is a catamaran cruise along the famous west coast. It's a great way to see more of the coastline, but the highlight is to get into that warm water and swim with the turtles. Oh, lovely. Crystal clear water, moray eel, beautiful fish, and I got to swim with the turtle. Really lovely. I opted for the sunset cruise, but as crew member David told me, you can also do it as a full day trip. We offer a five hour cruise, which goes from 10 in the morning until three in the evening, where we basically do three stops, two snorkel stops, one beach stop, and we also serve you lunch as well. It's a party boat, but not in a wild, crazy sort of a way, I get the feeling. That's the idea about it. It's uh, quite different to the Jolly Roger cruise. Yeah. We offer a cruise where you can come, relax for a couple hours, you know, chill out, yeah. enjoy the nice atmosphere. Yeah. With the Caribbean on one side and the Atlantic Ocean on the other, this is the perfect place to have a go at all sorts of water sports. The south coast in particular is renowned for great windsurfing and kite surfing. Local personality and professional surfer Brian Talmer explains. If you're a beginner for kite surfing, you can actually be on the beach and there's a long stream of beach so you can learn to kite surf, windsurfing, paddle surfing, we do all the action sports. Alongside water sports, there's plenty of other sporting action. There's polo and horse racing and of course cricket is huge here. On virtually every green or beach, you'll find locals trying to emulate their West Indies cricketing heroes. And if you fancy a round of golf, Barbados has some wonderful courses. The Royal Westmoreland, for instance, is much favoured by sporting celebrities. But it's not all about pace and action. Sometimes it's nice to just kick back and relax. Barbados has never had a reputation of one of the world's great spa destinations, but it's really catching up. Most of the hotels have got their own spas now, and this is the latest at Coral Reef Club, where their spa really is sublime. It's elegant, it's calming, it's relaxing. Beautiful gardens, very impressive. You don't have to be a guest at Coral Reef Club to come to their spa, but I would suggest you book early. My guess is it's very popular. And how better to end the day than with dinner under star-filled skies? There are so many spectacular restaurants here, but for me, this is the ultimate, the cliff. Barbados is one of those places that people come back to year after year. It's also somewhere people come to for the first time when they come to the Caribbean, and I think the reasons are clear. It works, it's as simple as that. There's a level of sophistication in Barbados that you don't get anywhere else. And I think there's a sense of graciousness about Barbados, which is also pretty unique. It's also a place where you can have fun. But above all, it just delivers that Caribbean dream. <laughs> <laughs>